All right, so you know what time it is. This is Mike Waters. I'm here at Phase One Elite right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we are working on movement. I know most people, and even in the title, you see SAQ, Speed Agility Quickness, which I get that, and I'm okay with that. But I like to use the term movement because as an athlete, that's what we are gifted at. The better movement you have, the better athlete you are, period. So today, I'm going to take you through some exercises that you can do on your own you don't need any equipment. You don't even need a ladder. You don't need cones. You don't need anything. If you do, you can literally put your shoe on that landmark, you know, take one of your slides off and put it on the landmark or where you need to get to that destination or to that location. So we're going to keep it very simple and we're going to get to work. So let's start off with our dynamic stretch so we can make sure we're tuned up and ready to go. So now we're going to transition to just a series of speed drills. We're going to do two of each, so we're going to keep it very simple. We just want to make sure that your body is primed and ready to go. Once we get into the movement, we want to be in a position to feel loose, you know, have some blood flowing and also be ready to go full speed. So let's get into the speed drills before we touch on our movement. So now it's time for the work, time for the movement. SAQ, speed agility quickness. So let's get right into it. You see I have a nice sweat going because it's very important that your body is primed and ready to go. So nice little sweat, breathing a little bit. That's what you want. So that way you can be aggressive on all of your movements that we're gonna be working on today. So the first exercise is very simple. It's a side run to setup. Side run to setup, very common a movement that athletes do in multiple sports at any given time on a field, on a court, whatever that may be. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Let's work. All right, so first we're gonna set up where we're gonna straddle the line. Now I told you, if you're not on a football field, you can use anything. Put a shoe right here, put a shoe at the next point, which today we're going five yards and you can work from there. So here's what we got. I'm gonna start the first one slow. We're gonna be set up which is our athletic stance we're going to cross it's a side run which means we're not opening our hips completely we're staying more lateral as if we're defending someone a, a defender is in front of us and we want to stay at that angle so we're going to side cross and when we get here boom and reset and back into our setup and hold it got it so the first round we're going to go two so we're going to go start there set hold one set hold two Set hold one, set hold two. That's gonna complete one set. All right, remember, stay nice and low on this. Let's get to work. Ready? All right, that's one set. That's what you want. You want lateral movement quickness. And remember, if I could do this at 45, yours should be that much faster, that much more explosive, and that much more control. So that was the first round. I'm gonna take a short break and then we're gonna repeat that. Today's workout, we're gonna run this. We're gonna go four sets. So we're going four sets of two. Remember, two is starting here. One, two, one, two. Got it? All right, let's get into the next one. into our next exercise in our movement series that we're doing today. So we just finished those. We're gonna take a short break 
And now we're going to work into what I call my Z boys. Letter Z, Z boys. So these are super intense, require a lot of control, a lot of balance, uh, good footwork. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then we're going to tap into a couple of them full speed. And on this, we're going to work. Got it? So let's get ready. Let's get it done. So here's what we have. We're starting here. Same thing. Once again, create whatever you need for your landmarks. Keep it real simple. So we're going to start here. Square, good base, good, good stance. We're going to shuffle one, two, three. On number three, we're going to plant our foot. Outside foot, we're going to open our hips and we're going to sprint. Still keeping that side run and we're going to sprint, reset on this line. And then one, two, three, right here. And then we're going to press and sprint back to the starting point. Got it? So remember, we're doing all this in a five yard window, five yard span. So you don't need a lot of space. Whatever you need for your landmarks, you can create that. Just put shoes down, towel down, leaf down, doesn't matter. Just put something down that can help you make sure you're in the right spot. So let's get right into it. So as you can see, this one really gives you some good movement. Opens your hips on that, on that turn and go. Also makes you stay, keep your eyes up field. So that way you're managing the field, the court, whatever it may be. Also making sure that you're stable at each location, each starting point. Every time you open, flip, turn, run, you wanna be stable each time. So that's a, a very, very, it's a more advanced exercise, but I know you can do it. Just pay attention, focus on your form, your technique, even if you have to slow it down a little bit. Sometimes it's better to go slow with better technique than to go fast and be out of control. So with that, let's get into our next one. All right, here we go. If you watched any of our videos over the years, you're probably already familiar with what we're doing next, which is our phase one, our P1 agility series. So this one, I've been using this thing for 10, maybe 15 years with athletes all level, all ages, all sizes. And this has been a great series to get your movement, get your foot placement better, and to help you change the direction and get out of, in and out of breaks. So we're gonna get right into it today, and we're going with our phase one agility series to end this workout, and then we'll go into recovery and get ready for what's next. So let's get right to it. So we're gonna start right here. So notice everything that we've done has been within a five yard radius. So that way you don't need a lot of space, even if you have a a commercial gym that has some turf space, you may even be able to execute these inside of that commercial gym or in your backyard, even in your front yard. You can find somewhere to execute these because there's no excuse, there's no reason. Nothing should stop you from getting better. So uh, let's get into our phase one agility series. Here's how it looks. We're gonna make this very progressive. We're gonna start with sprint back pedal, and then each time we're gonna add two each one of our uh, agility series. So first one, sprint back pedal keys that I'm looking for. Foot placement. Don't overshoot the line. Of course, never be short of the line, but you don't want any wasted movement by going past it. So that's where the foot control comes in. Foot placement comes in. So let's work. First one, sprint back pedal. <clears throat> this, so just nice and quick, quick acceleration. Learn how to move in tight spaces. All right, so now our next one is gonna be sprint back pedal, shuffle, shuffle. Got it, that's the next piece. So as a trainer, or maybe even a parent that's watching this, your job is to make sure you watch their height, make sure they're staying nice and low in and out of the transitions, and also make sure they're hitting the landmark. Not short, not over. So that was the second piece. Third piece, sprint, backpedal, shuffle, shuffle, karaoke, karaoke. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! It's a work day, baby. You see, after a few sets, reps, you should start feeling that. This is working your conditioning as well, but it's working on 
your game conditioning, movements that you're actually going to be doing. So this is a, a lot more sport specific than many other movement, or excuse me, SAQ exercises. So now we're gonna add the last piece. This is the last part of the P1 Agility Series. Sprint, backpedal, shuffle, shuffle, karaoke, karaoke, backpedal, sprint. That's our last piece. Let's get it in. So as you can see, I'm breathing hard. I'm at 45 years old though. You shouldn't be breathing this hard. All right, so here's what we got. We just finished our dynamic stretch. We hit our speed drills. We hit three different movement series, movement patterns that I think are gonna be beneficial for any athlete, any age, any sport. That's what this was. So remember, be as detailed as possible when you execute these. I'm gonna put the sets and reps in for you to execute and you can determine how many more if you wanna add, subtract, or however that looks. But the key is technique, form, foot placement, watching your hips, your balance. Work on all the key things that are gonna make you a better athlete. Got me? All right, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys check the description and if you need a custom, individualized program, whether it be movement, whether it be speed, whether it be strength, make sure you tap in. Send me a message or just visit the website and I have multiple programs that'll be beneficial for you that you could do on your own without anything. Just you as an athlete looking to get better. This is Mike Waters, Phase 1 Elite. I'll see you on the next one.